What the hell, Jeff? I thought we were friends. Late last week, Valve released the workshop tools for Alex. So this weekend, I installed it and started playing around with it. And the first thing I did was load up one of the custom maps. And what I wanted to explore was the AI for the different enemies. So I load up a map with some Combine Soldiers and my challenge was to see if I could make those Combine Soldiers friendly to the player. One of the best ways to work with these tools is just to get in there and start playing with them and try and figure out how to do things from scratch and you can learn a ton of stuff along the way and that's basically what I do in this video and I'll explain while I'm going through what different things I'm trying and what works and what doesn't. If you enjoy this content you can subscribe and like to support the channel. I know this channel's got a bit of an identity crisis. I do a variety of things, so let me know what things you enjoy the most. The videos that get the most likes and the most views are the ones that are gonna influence the type of content I create. As always, thank you so much to the existing subscribers for your support, I really appreciate it. When you load up the workshop tools, you're gonna start with this view. Now head over to the little hammer and that's gonna let you open up the map editor. From the map editor, you can head over to file and you want to open one of the custom maps. Here you start off with workshop examples. This is probably the default directory you're going to start in. And one of the examples I like to use is the combine encounter because it has some complexity but not too much complexity. If you try to load too big of a map with too much stuff going on, it can be really hard to wrap your head around. This one here only has five enemies. So it's really easy to understand and it's got lots of notes within there. Now you can just go straight to build map if you wanna just try it out and see what's in there. This can take some time. So when you hit build, it's gonna build and it's gonna run in your headset. So hit build, give it a few minutes, could be five, 10 minutes to run, and then you should be able to load that into your headset. Now notice it's not gonna let you save the file from where you loaded it because it's read only. If you click OK here, it's going to give you another location to save. It's going to recommend under a directory you created before where you can save a version of the map. So you can go ahead and save it there. As soon as you load into the map, the man hacker comes out and that sort of initiates the fight. And then the other four combine soldiers are going to come out shortly after. Now when you have enemies attacking you from all sides, it's not a really great way to explore a map. So part of the purpose of showing you how to make enemies friendly is so that you can explore maps and wander around and get to know them without having to be attacked by combine soldiers. If you move around the map, you can go to the individual entities, click on them. If you double click on them, you're going to get this window which has all of their properties. You can read through the different properties of the different entities and you can kind of see some of the logic that goes into building their behavior. So one of the first things I did is I found this thing called enemy filter and after reading the docs on it, it seemed to be something that would filter which things or which other entities in the level the enemies are going to attack. Now this is a bit tricky. When everyone refers to player, you have to refer to not player, um, which really seems weird. But I'm going to go ahead and set that on all four of the Combine Soldiers so that they have an enemy filter of not player and see what happens and if they still attack me or not. Okay, so here I'm in the level, moving around, and of course I didn't change anything on the hat, so I expected that to attack me. No, they're, they're attacking. So this isn't right. Something's gone wrong here. I'm going to go back in and mess around with this. I did try to change it from not player to player to see if that made any difference. But even if I set it to player as opposed to not player, this guy still attacks. And I tried a few other things, but nothing seemed to be working. And you see again, I just keep on getting killed. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to take away their weapons. This is sort of my punishment for Combine Soldiers. You're gonna keep attacking me. I'm just gonna take away your guns and let's see what happens when Combine Soldiers don't have weapons. How is the AI gonna react 
when it can't actually attack you. So here I am, levels loaded up. The hat attacks because it doesn't have a weapon to take away. But notice the combine soldiers don't attack. They set up in their positions because they have some pathing built into the AI that's in this case taking that one to the truck and this one actually doesn't have anything to go after. I think it's actually set to find the player. So he just stands still. And the problem is if you get close enough to these guys, they still kick you. So without a weapon, they're not going to charge and attack you, or at least this one isn't. But if you get close enough, they're still going to kick. And that's the only attack this guy does, is he just kicks over and over again. However, if you actually set this soldier off, he will constantly try to get close to you. And if he gets close enough, he's going to hit you with his non-existent gun. And that kind of gets awkward because he just keeps following me around wherever I go. He's following and trying to hit me with his gun. And I can't really explore the map if this guy is constantly attacking me. So while most of the Combine soldiers become friendly-ish if you take away their weapons, this guy doesn't. There are these entities called AI Scripted Schedule which you can play with to try and change the behavior of the Combine Soldiers. So here I'm going to try and get him not to follow the player and instead try to follow another Combine Soldier. So I've got to get rid of the hat. But here you see, he's, as soon as he sees me, he goes from alert to combat mode it seems. So even after changing that little setting in the AI so that he shouldn't be going after me, he still follows me around. And you can even see the animation of the gun shooting. He doesn't have a weapon, but the animation still goes off. So close, but not quite. It turns out what you really want to do is build a relationship between the player and the non-player character. So you can drop this AI relationship entity in here. And when you go to modify the properties of it, you can set it to like. There are other settings to make it dislike you, but here I want it to like me. You can take the NPC that you want to refer to, so in this case, the fourth Combine Soldier, and I'm going to get him to like the not player, which is the player. Again, that's a bit confusing, but this tells the AI that it should like the player. And you have to set it to active. Remember to set it to active. If you don't set it to active, then there's other AI routines that are going to kick in. Now that he is my friend, he really isn't paying attention to me. I can get right up in his face, which if you play Half-Life Alex, you can't really get this close to Combine Soldiers ever. So it's kind of neat to get in close and see just how much detail there is and actually watch how they react to you when you get close to them. Now, weirdly, he still still kind of follows you around, which is a bit creepy. He's always trying to get into your face. So if I move away, go back, I'm about to shoot him. Oh, and here he comes running to come join me. Hey buddy, how's it going? Nothing to see here. Hey, what was that? Hey man, nothing to see here. You go ahead and do your thing. Yeah, I'm just just hanging out here. You you can you can go ahead and, and hey look over there. Yeah. Just a second. Three left. Hey, what are you doing? So as you can see, it's still a bit strange. He's, he's constantly looking at the player character, but he's not reacting. So he's acting like a friend to the player character. He's not going to attack you. He still paths towards you, and I'm going to try and modify that right now. So I'm going to make an AI relationship for each of the NPCs and for each of them I'm going to set them to be friendly to the player character.
I like to sort of move the AI relationships over top of the MPC it applies to. I don't think you technically have to have them anywhere near, but it's nice to have those things grouped together so that when you look at an MPC, you can see its AI scripts close to it, and then you can modify them. So I'm also going to try to change this behavior one more time. I'm going to take away the player and put in a location instead. Throughout the map, there are these white blocks that are basically helpers for pathing. So I'm going to set it to go to one of those particular blocks instead of following the player around. And we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing for these other two combine soldiers. And don't forget the man hacker as well. You can actually set the man hacker to be friendly to the character as well. So it looks like AI relationships can apply to any of the NPCs, but I'm not always sure exactly what it's going to do. So let's see what it does with the man hacker. Here comes the man hacker. And he's coming right for me, and then all of a sudden, he turns away. So the man hacker will actually follow the same path it followed before, but when it sees the player, because it's set to a friend, it just goes back and goes over its path again. Now, if you touch the man hacker, you're going to get that same animation, like you're getting damage, but you're not going to take any damage. So there's no friendly fire on if he's set to friend but it just still shows the animation of blood squirting all over the place. And the combine soldiers, they're not attacking. They have their weapons. You can walk right up to them. You can touch them. And you really get a feel for the differences between the physics in this game and other games because you can't, you don't really collide with their helmets. The combine soldier will watch your hand but you can go through many of their parts, which is a bit strange. It kind of breaks the immersion. But when you're playing through the game, you don't often get this close to a combine soldier. Of course, when they're friendly, you can go ahead and grab items off their chest, and that's fine. It's weird because sometimes if you get too close to them, they'll flinch away. And in a second, you're going to see him flinch his gun away because I get too close to it. For some reason the helmet collides, but the arm doesn't, which is a bit strange. And there he flinches his gun away because I guess he doesn't want me getting that close to his gun. He's really not happy about that. And it's interesting to see how their attention moves from, you know, the player to the thing that drops on the ground. That's a good combine soldier. Hey, look over here. Look at this. Now, look over here. No, he seems to he seems to really want to pay attention to that gun. Now, let's go see the big guy here. Dooby doo. So, he is just, you know, really interested in the skybox. He doesn't want anything to do with me. He's just completely looking away. I can get in close, I can try and touch his gun, and he's just not interested at all in the player. So maybe not the most attentive friend, but at least he's not trying to attack me. So now that I figured out how to make NPCs friends, I thought, what about Jeff. What would happen if I took Jeff, and I'm going to give the entity a name so that I can use him in the AI relationship, and I'm going to make an AI relationship between Jeff and the player and see how that impacts the game. Here I'm grabbing the AI relationship. I can refer to Friendly Jeff. And we'll make him like the player. Yeah. 
Now, something I did not anticipate is the Combine Soldiers and the Man Hacker are not friends with Jeff, so they're going to try and attack Jeff, but it's just not going to be effective at all. You may have noticed when you're playing through the game that you can't really hurt Jeff, and neither can the NPCs. Although they can piss him off. But having these guys shooting at Jeff's no good, so I'm gonna go and get rid of these Combine Soldiers. And as soon as I start shooting, Jeff's gonna start heading over here. So even though Jeff and the player are friends, Jeff is still reacting to noises in the environment, and he's still going to head towards them. But what happens if I go close to Jeff? Is he still going to attack me? or not. So as soon as I hit Jeff's hitbox, he just pukes all over me. But like the man hacker, Jeff does no damage. Unlike the man hacker, Jeff has some sort of grapple mechanic, so I can't actually move away from him anymore. Once he starts spitting out and spewing that stuff, you're stuck in place. So I'm gonna spend some more time exploring how I might be able to change the behavior in Jeff so that he doesn't do all that spitting, but I haven't quite figured out yet. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, again, you can subscribe or leave a like or leave a comment. Let me know what sorts of things you're doing in the workshop tools and if this was helpful.